Good morning, hunties! How are you? I hope you're having a blessed morning. I know that I am. I woke up in peace. I just felt at peace. I was sleeping like a bit. Oh gosh, did you see my kush? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> starfish in bed i woke up like this y'all in a bath towel in a bath towel <laughs> a beach towel no i took a shower this morning and i didn't have any towels like all my towels are dirty uh so i'm in a beach towel the cleaning lady that comes once a week is coming through praise god because my house is a mess how's the lighting it's good it's good no aya she sleeps with me in a chokehold. Like she chokeholds me as she sleeps. And when I wake up, she wakes up. I'm like, how does this girl know that I'm up and not present? All I needed to do was use the restroom. And this girl, she follows behind me. That's my baby. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Like I miss Aya so much. Adam is keeping Aya for the week because he's going out of town so I'm able to get work done but Aya is like my little bestie <laughs> it's like I need a break you know and it's good and healthy for me just to get a break from the kids and get you know work done and focus on mental health but do I really need a break from my kids? Mm -hmm. Why? Peace of mind. But they bring me peace and chaos at the same time. I don't know what to do with myself. You gotta work, girl. Oh yeah, that part. Okay, so Adam sent me three photos of Aya and they're so cute. Look at my baby. I posted this one on her Instagram. Her Instagram is only Aya, can you see? I'll just post it on the screen yeah. if you can't see because this camera is acting weird. I met up with Keisha Anderson, you know, Keisha Kaylee, she's a vlogger here. She has twins and she has, she has three girls, two are twins and one is not a twin. Anyway, <laughs> she hit me up and she was like, girl, we have to do this live Smasher Pass. And me, Vaughn and Jerome, we were gonna do it, right? But Vaughn and I got into some crap or whatever, and he didn't come with us. So when we got there, I saw the lineup, and I was like, I'm not even gonna front Keisha. I would pass on everybody. Who's that? Is that Aya? Did she come? Did she drive her daddy's car to come see mommy? Let's go see. Okay. Aya, is that you? Let's go see. Aya. I think I need to help you because I haven't worked out in three days. That's why it's very heavy. I don't know. I got you. Girl, please. <laughs> I do this. I do this fitness thing. Let's go. You do it, girl. Oh. The neck. <laughs> I got this. God. I got this. <laughs> please. <laughs> Bro, yo, I swear. I feel like the ocean right now. Wavy, bro. I just smoked something. I'm tired just like you. Yo. What the hell is in there? Girl, this thing is so heavy. Damn. That's, it's very heavy. It's good to see and you. I know. It's so happy to see you. I have my girl, Crystal, Hi, with me. Hi, everybody. And she's amazing. First of all, shout out your Instagram. Okay, so my Instagram is LuxB period studio. We're located in Buckhead, Georgia. We do body contouring. Yes. For the lovely. I'm so Florida. excited. I see Crystal once per week for body contouring. Mm -hmm. I have cellulite on my thighs. And I feel like, you know, her massages and whatever the hell these things with are. With therapy, this helps with cellulite, so we attack it. Let have those legs looking real smooth. Nice and smooth, right? Yes. 
I feel like after your massages, first of all, they're so relaxing. Mm -hmm. But I also feel like my body's shaping out. It is. It yeah. is. It is. The wood therapy tools are shaping your body, so it's giving more of that coat bottle frame. Right. And you know what else helps? Obviously, waist training, mm -hmm. working training. out, eating healthy. It's a whole like process it's a whole lifestyle it's a whole lifestyle be good to your body yeah be and it'll be body. good to you yes yes hello good. And self -care. Yeah. are you not self-care is the best care baby Period. with the tea on the end what are you doing tell you what i always do why mm -hmm. are you so close it's not even close <laughs> so basically i'm sculpting my face i'm giving my face a lymphatic drainage massage. I do this all the time. Do I look funny doing it? No. <laughs> you look like you. <laughs> <laughs> this is just type, the type of stuff you do. <laughs> <laughs> just so random. My face was so puffy from getting fillers. You know? Like, mm -hmm. I went to the extreme, I feel like. I put a whole syringe in each cheek and I thought it was so cute. But then when people were calling me out, I was like, I do look like a chipmunk <laughs> because everyone was doing it at the time and I was like girl your cheeks are so defined and my girl put me onto it she was like oh my gosh these are fillers and I'm like girl you have Naomi Campbell cheeks but then I started to look like Chrissy Teigen look at how ashy my elbow is when you get out the shower are you this ashy? I put lotion on I do too but I didn't put it on because you know, I thought I was at the phone <laughs> How I do you meditate? Her that. Mm -hmm. she I just meditate. I I like to meditate in a quiet area. Yeah. At least like certain things that I'm thinking, you know, okay. get into the universe. Mm -hmm. And it just makes me feel better. It gives me anxiety mm. to not think about anything. Like nothing, releasing all of those thoughts. That shit gives me anxiety. I'm like, oh my gosh, how do I think again? What you should do is like set a timer or alarm. Mm -hmm. And like th for 30 minutes, you you have the peace of mind of knowing that you can come back from it. Or think about, focus on thinking about something positive. Since you think so mm -hmm. much. I think about things that I'm manifesting yes. into my life. Like mm -hmm. peace, joy, happiness. And I actually see myself where I want to be. And make those you know, my thoughts. All right, so I'll let them know a little bit about what you're doing to really contour my body. So to contour her body, we're doing a little bit of lymphatic drainage massage and sculpting massaging. So lymphatic drainage massage basically opens up your lymph nodes so we can get the blood flowing. Then the body sculpting, which is the contouring, helps give you that hourglass figure. So right now I'm just rubbing her muscles, relaxing her before we go in with the wood therapy to start contouring her. Um, body contouring is the same, good for clients that are dealing with weight loss issues, dealing with contouring their body, snatching in that waist, if they've had surgery, if they haven't had surgery. So these massages are really universal and good for everybody. Body contouring is done all over the world, in Latin countries, I mean really everywhere. So, you know, it's good for all types, all ethnicities, all body types, mm. anybody can get it. of my belly button really in a reel that i posted they're like uh latoya do you have three belly buttons oh my people are so mean i'm like first of all i had a belly ring that's tickles okay. and i had three kids like leave my belly button alone my belly button is unique okay move unique. along with your normal belly buttons right it's okay. <laughs> I don't care. Right. This wood is also going to help your abs come through. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad you've been working out and stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, let me show you guys about the loose skin that I don't like. Watch. Look. You see that? It's, it's a little bit of loose skin, guys. 
<laughs> it's like when I bend, when I do certain movements, when I do certain workouts and exercises, mm -hmm. you can really see it. Continue to wear that waist trainer that you're about to put on the market. Oh girl. my gosh, I know. You're going to live in that. Don't you love it? I love it. I love it. I'm all for the waist trainers, okay? Mm -hmm. It helps you get snatched. You're being snatched all day. So while you're working, mm -hmm. while you're doing stuff around the house, playing with your babies, you have oh, your waist trainer definitely. on. I wear that girl. thing all day, every day. I'm going to use some ultrasound gel, okay? when I do this. Am I pregnant? <laughs> no. That? Oh, did you feel a baby in there? <laughs> oh, pray God. I didn't feel a baby. I thought this that dude got a... me pregnant <laughs> though. He went. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this is to help protect your organs. Let me go put, let me go take my damn birth control real quick. Funny. So we're doing some skin tightening. Yes, we are. Working on loving me for me as I get the skin tightening treatment and contouring my body and wearing waist trainers and eating healthy. And but that makes out. you feel good. Right. Okay. <laughs> so, right. you feel good. I'm And with therapy. Y'all, I just got my massage. I feel really good. My body's looking nice. I've been waist training. You know what? <laughs> so, as you guys know, I'm releasing my three belt waist trainer soon. And my manufacturer printed the wrong logo on there. And then they wanted me to send my waist trainer to them. So I sent my waist trainer to them. They haven't sent it back to me yet. My waist trainer has three belts on it. So it targets the FUPA, you know? That's like a part of the mint section that never goes away. But with the three belt waist trainer, since it's being targeted aggressively, my fupa has been shrinking. The thing I love about waist trainers is when you're eating, since the waist trainer is so tight, you feel full fast. And I'm an overeater. So I have to wear my waist trainer. Sorry? Okay, thank you. Have a good day. Um because I overeat, I overindulge. It's really bad. Like I must have a person to eat my food and then pick off of my kids. <laughs> it's like they waste food anyways. I'm the human garbage can. I just love food. And so with the waist trainer, I don't eat so much. I don't overeat, you know? It prevents me from Overeating because it's so tight, and when it gets tight, it's like, <gasps> we all set. We are set. In my waist trainer, <laughs> I don't care. I wear this thing all day, every day outside, and I feel like people don't even really care. Like that's how Atlanta is. We do what the hell we want to do out here. Anyways, we're going to Unique Threading and Body Wax, and they do amazing threading. Actually, I was looking for someone to do my eyebrows like months and months ago and I was like I put out a story asking people where should I go in Atlanta and mostly people were like go to unique and then the other day to you said that you go to unique mm -hmm. and they have like various locations throughout Georgia so we're about to go get my eyebrows threaded have you ever gotten a Brazilian yeah I've never gotten one I love them I feel clean like really yeah. I get laser hair down there it's oh, cool. yeah. that might be better. Yeah, it doesn't hurt at all. People always ask me, "Does laser hair removal?" I wouldn't think it would hurt. It's, it, it doesn't hurt. Why would they think it would hurt? No. Well, it's different lasers that they use. Like for my skin, because I have melanated skin, I believe they use a different laser, and it doesn't hurt. It gets the job done, and it doesn't hurt. Okay, y'all. I got my eyebrows done, and I don't like them. She took off. She removed too much hair on this eyebrow and then I don't know what's going on. I just feel like my eyebrows are all over the place. I'm trying to grow them out, but the hair doesn't grow evenly. So anyways, I just got my avocado lotto. Wait, is it called that? Avocado lotto mm. from Tropical Smoothie. This is my favorite smoothie of all time. There's Avocado, pineapple, and some other stuff in it that's really freaking amazing. Jerome put me onto this one. Mm. How dare you, best friend? Um, I went ahead and made you a smoothie. Um, I got you your favorite. I know, I don't, I'm 
thankful. I guess we're just going to eat smoothies all day or drink smoothies all, all day. All day. Let's go on a smoothie detox. <laughs> what do you taste? You can't taste that and then taste this. Not at all. That's you setting me up for disaster. Why don't you put um, kale and spinach and banana? Okay. It's good. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> I put extra kale in it today. There's a lot of kale in there. Yeah. And kale is, it has such a strong taste. Yeah, it does. But the it's banana kind of cuts it. I know, that's why I put banana in there. Yeah, it tastes interesting. Vaughn, just call me, I'm about to record it. He won't care. Vaughn? Yeah, but now what I was saying is, it would be, I would, I would say, it would probably be, and, and maybe you don't even care to deal with all that shit. I don't know. But I was saying it would probably be more comfortable for you to go back because of the simple fact it would be more... Go back to Adam? Yeah, because it would be more comfortable for you because of the fact that y'all got little babies together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's the most stressful part about it is not being able to see the kids every day and having to FaceTime and, you know, just... It's just so frustrating. Anyways, um... <laughs> So right now, I'm just doing my makeup. Well, not really. I just put the primer on. I have to shoot a brand deal for Hallmark, which I'm so excited about. I love Hallmark. I love Hallmark cards. They're so cute. Um, and I always, whenever I buy like Christmas gifts or birthday presents, I always get Hallmark cards because they're the cutest. Anyways, today we are doing a shoot for their campaign that they have coming up. So we're just going to take some photos on the sofa. And we are going to write a few of my friends and family some cute little messages in the card. I think cards are so thoughtful, you know? And the funny thing is... One of my friends gave me a card, and I used to hate getting cards. I'm like, this is so pointless. Like, mm -hmm. I don't even read these cards. I just want to know what is in the bag. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I just want to know who it's from and what the hell did you get me? But I started to... One of my friends gave me a card, and he put such a thoughtful, like, sweet, you know, message in there. And it's something that I go back to. Like when I'm feeling down or, you know, just something mm. that it's always going to be a memory and it's always going to be with me, you know. So I think cards are so thoughtful, especially when you write a cute little message in there for the person you're giving the card to. I like cards. Me too. Can you get me a card? <laughs> yeah. Tell me how much you appreciate my love. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do you love me? Mm-hmm. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. Why? You're crazy. <laughs> I told you my best friend and my dad are Aquariuses. Like, I just, I don't know, it's just a match, I guess. It's a match made in heaven. But, you know, I don't do well with Virgos. You don't do well with Virgo men. Yeah, Virgo men. That's different. They're, we don't associate with them. What is up with Virgo men? They're just the opposite of, like, we're angels, they're devils. <laughs> it's like... Okay, guys, we're about to take photos for Hallmark. I'm excited. I just wrote the caption. All they want is a photo, right? Just a photo? Yeah. And they don't need stories, right? No. That's the deal? Yeah. All right, cool. And they want us to showcase all the cards? Mm hmm Okay. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, perfect. How does the, um, how does it look? Like it looks good. It does? Yeah. So how do you think I should pose? Like, I think you should lean oh i need a pen i wrote in the cards i need a pen do you think that we need the throw in the shot or do you think it needs to just be clean because we're already doing a lot with the color the cards it's very homey it would be cute like on the side right here something like barely in the picture but like there yeah yeah okay let's do that Me and my or behind little... you like no. you're sitting on it so right. I was trying to decorate. I was here. Oh yeah. Yeah. Somebody said it looks like a troll. <laughs> I was cracking up. Like y'all be making me laugh. Okay, perfect. Yeah. That's a pen. Right? Yeah. Like I want to keep a little pen, a little fluff on the top. Do you have one of those? No. <laughs> <laughs> that would be cute. <laughs> Let's turn on some music, get this party started. 
Okay, y'all, so we just completed the Hallmark photo shoot. Wrote the caption, the photos are taken. I'm going to select this picture. I like how I'm smiling. It's cute, it's cozy. I have to edit out the Nike swoosh because when doing branded deals, branded campaigns, the focus needs to be the brand that you're promoting and not any other brands. So I have to go ahead and edit out the Nike sign. I use Lightroom and Facetune to edit all of my photos. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go into Lightroom right now. This photo is actually a really good photo and I don't really have to do too much editing in Lightroom to be honest. The only thing that I'll do is Kind of smooth out my skin so I'm gonna go to effects and then clarity so I'm just gonna go to one extreme to the next extreme so you can see what the filter does so clarity smooths out your skin so if you move left it literally smooths everything out in the photo and if you move right it just looks different <laughs> So I'm going to put this on negative. So I just smoothed out my skin to negative 13. I like that. And to make the cards pop, I'm going to use details. It just makes everything more visible. Before, after, before, after. So everything just pops nicely. I even like to put details on my jewelry get pop this is before after and i also like to do it on my eyes as well so i just darken my eyelashes i also do my eyebrows sometimes and then this is before after before after give me some of my boobs too you know what I'm saying? next i'm going to although my teeth are pretty white in this photo i still whiten my teeth so i just use a teeth whitener and i just whiten my teeth see see look at that look at that hollywood smile <laughs> and then i also whiten my eyes before, after, before, after, before, after. Let me whiten some more right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to smooth out my legs. I have a bunch of little scars on my legs because I sit there and I pick my ingrown hairs. So I'm just gonna smooth out my ingrown. <laughs> we smoothing, y'all. If you have a scar, if you have a blemish, you can patch it. So, you just take an, a, another area that's smooth on your body to make it blend nicely and to remove whatever blemish you have. So, you see how my leg right here is kind of light compared to the rest of my body? I'm just going to go ahead and make it the same color as my thighs so i'm going to go to tones and then i'm going to select the area that i want the color to be so i want it to be that color right there on my thigh i'm going to zoom into the area that i want to darken and then i'm going to go to tones and then i'm just gonna put some color on my legs now right here it's a nice little highlight so I'm not gonna touch that a little goes a long way and I'm complete that's all I do to my photos for the most part I have to remove the Nike swooshes so I'm just gonna use the patch tool to remove the Nike swoosh it's like magic all you have to do and then I'm gonna send off everything to the brand 
first have to save it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave me a comment in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.